the Tidius bode law and the quest between Mars and Jupiter. Long ago, astronomers noticed an intriguing pattern. If Saturn's distance from the Sun is taken as 100 units, then Mercury is at 4, Venus at 4 plus 3, Earth at 4 plus 6, and Mars at 4 plus 12. Following that sequence, the next should be 4 plus 24, but in reality, it jumps straight to 4 plus 48 for Jupiter and 4 plus 96 for Saturn. That gap at 4 plus 24 raised a question. Was there an undiscovered planet between Mars and Jupiter? This is the Titius Bode Law, named after two 18th century German astronomers. The formula wasn't perfect, but it matched the known planetary distances surprisingly well, except for that missing spot. The idea of a lost planet spread widely. Meanwhile, William Herschel, a musician passionate about astronomy, built his own large telescopes and in 1781 accidentally discovered a new planet, Uranus. At first, he wanted to call it George's Star after King George III, but the international community eventually accepted the name Uranus. Discovering Uranus further fueled the belief that there had to be a planet at around 2.7 astronomical units, the 4 plus 24 position, predicted by Bode's law. So the search began. On New Year's Eve 1801, Giuseppe Piazzi in Italy noticed a faint point of light. After two weeks of observation, he suspected it was the missing planet. Orbit calculations showed it lay at exactly the empty distance. Piazzi named it Ceres. At first, astronomers weren't sure it was a true planet because it was so faint, but with accurate orbit calculations, they confirmed its existence. Closer inspection revealed it was unexpectedly small. Its true diameter was only about 940 kilometers. Despite its size, Ceres is spherical and orbits the Sun, making it a dwarf planet by later classification. But the discovery of Ceres didn't fully explain Bode's law because that gap didn't hold one big planet but an entire belt. Just a year later, 1802, Pallas was discovered, followed by Juno, 1804, Astraea, 1845, Hebe, 1847. 